Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 5205 Sand Lake Road in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, the beautiful house that we are visiting today is a five bedroom, three full bath home. Been completely renovated from the top of the roof to the uh, flooring in the house. A brand new roof, brand new ceiling, texture inside, uh, new flooring, new baseboards, new AC, you name it. Uh, it's probably been done in this house. Uh, before we go inside, you'll see that it is on a 1.5 plus acre lot. Uh, the lot is roughly 150 feet by 450 feet. So plenty of space here. As you can see, we have a brick exterior, uh, quite charming. A brick walkway. And once we get inside, you will see that like I just mentioned, pretty much everything has been done from floor to ceiling over the last year or two. Now when you walk inside, you immediately notice that we have this wood plank tile throughout the home. Uh, it is on a diagonal, which is a nice upgrade. This is the formal living room. As you can see, it's not currently being used as such, but definitely could be again. Plenty of space here. Uh, we don't have a table for size, but you could easily put a table in here that would seat, I would think, at least eight people. Now across the way, we have the master bedroom. So it is a split floor plan, meaning that the master bedroom is not connected to the other bedrooms. So you have some nice privacy that way. Uh, quite spacious. We do have furniture in this room, so you can see that it is uh, rather large furniture, but because the room is so big, it still, still feels quite roomy. Now we have a walk-in closet that I'll give you a look at right here. So we won't dwell on the closet, but the point is that there's a lot of room there. And then around the corner, pardon me as we spin here, you can see that we have one sink here. Now it's actually plumbed for two. The current owners only wanted one, only needed one, so there's only one here, but it is actually plumbed for two. And there are electrical outlets behind the drawers so that you can keep your hair dryer, things like that, plugged in, but without having the cords uh, strewn across the countertop there. And then we have a full-size shower and a private commode, as you can see. Now, not only does this house have almost 4,000 square feet, it's 3,994 square feet. Uh, no, not only does it have a pool, but under roof, it's over 5,000 square feet at 5,104, give or take a couple square feet. Uh, there is also a 40 by 50 garage out back that we'll take a look at at the tail end of this video that adds another 2,000 square feet. So we're looking at almost 7,000 square feet total. Uh, could be a little over, could be a little under, but you get the idea. There is a lot of space here. Now, one of the highlights of the home is definitely the kitchen. This has been beautifully redone over the last two years with an induction range. Uh, you can see we have built-in microwave, we have the ovens, we have stainless fridge, we have dishwasher. They've added a sink in the island here. We have one also by the window, that is a pass-through window, which means you can pass things through to the back porch. A beautiful granite here, I'll give you a close-up. Lots of cabinet space. And then on the other side of the kitchen here, we have more matching cabinets, more uh, matching countertop. We have a freezer. We also have the washer dryer. This is the laundry room. And then on the other side here, we have another full-size bath. 
So this could be used as a pool bath for the pool, hence the name. Uh, if you're doing things out in the garage, you want to get cleaned up before you come in the house, you can certainly do that here. Setup offers many possibilities. Here we have a, another sink as well. Now that is a door that leads to the back porch. We're not going to head out there yet. In fact, we're going to head into the garage right now to take a quick look. I uh, wanted to show you we have an insulated garage door, but more importantly, we have a brand new Bosch AC system here that is enclosed for energy efficiency. New hot water heater as well. Lots of new here, new pocket doors, new baseboards, uh, new recessed lighting, new ceiling texture, new paint. All kinds of new, new carpet as we get back into the house some more. Uh, here we have the living space. Now that is a wood burning fireplace. Again, lots of room, very spacious. Uh, one nice touch here are the skylights. Now these are not new, but they do let in a lot of natural light. There's one here and then one on the other side of the fan. Let me just move over this way. So you can see there we have the fireplace on the right hand side, wood storage on the left, and a really neat oak plank here being used as the mantle. It's actually from a tree that is on the owner's farm. Now we have the French doors leading out to the pool. I'll take you out there in just a minute, but I first want to show you the wet bar. It does have a sink there. And now we have a hallway that leads to a large bonus room in the back. Uh, the hallway, as you'll see, has four of the five bedrooms. First though, we have the guest bathroom. You can see here we have the double sinks, uh, granite and cabinets that match the kitchen. Again, beautifully redone. Uh, new doors, we have new windows throughout the home. Like I said, uh, you name it, it's probably been redone over the last year or two. The cellars are actually the people that built the house back in the 80s. Uh, they sold it many years ago and repurchased it about two years ago and it has been lovingly updated and in fact uh, it's even better than it was when they first owned it. So that is one of the non-master bedrooms. Here is another one. Again, from the scale of the furniture, you can see they are large rooms. It's working our way down the hallway here. Now the bedroom we're about to go in is currently being used as an office. So if you need an office, you can certainly have one at this house. Give you a quick look at the pool here. It is screened and it is nice. You can see more of the crown molding as we walk out of this room. Here, let me just give you another look. I have not really highlighted that as we've been walking through, but certainly a nice touch. Now here's the last non-master bedroom. So this is bedroom number five, if you've been counting. And all of the bedrooms have these doors leading to closets. All of them are very nicely sized. Tons of storage in this house. I'm going to show you another storage room in just a moment. So across the way, more storage. Won't spend too much time looking in there, but I want to let you know it's there. Now this is the uh, bonus space. Uh, as you can see, it is big, very roomy. Lots of bright natural light here. So you can have a uh, TV sitting area here. 
could make a home theater if you wanted to. As you can see, we have a pool table back here. Again, lots of room, lots of space, lots of storage. There's just one more closet for you. Lots of possibilities, and we haven't even looked at the large garage in back. So you're getting a, an idea that on this one and a half acres, there is a ton of storage, uh, lots of uses for this home, lots of possibilities. Now going to take you back into the main living space so that we can take a look at the pool, and then I will take you out to the garage and the pond that's out back that is fed by a natural artesian well, a private well, by the way. New French doors, just kind of throw that in there. <coughs> so as you can see, we're now on the back porch. Uh, this is screened in. It is about a thousand square feet of space, outdoor living space. A brand new pool deck surface. So plenty of room for furniture, for entertaining. Uh, the pool is definitely large enough to have many people swimming in it at once. If you want to picture kids doing cannonballs, there's uh, plenty of room here without worrying about collisions. Now we are walking back to that garage I was telling you about. Uh, this is 40 feet by 50 feet. Both doors open. This is a look at the backyard. There you have a, a citrus tree. I think it's an orange, but I'm not 100% sure. Bit of a swing set there in the middle of the screen. That's a glimpse at the pond there. We'll go there after we look in the garage. Let me uh, first just stop to turn around and show you the house from this angle. So a nice sprawling ranch layout. So we're now walking into the garage. Uh, like I promised, it is massive. It is 40 feet, 40 feet by 50 feet, I believe. Uh, it does have lights and it does have water there in the back. I'll show you that in just a second. The floor is finished. So solid metal construction. Lots of storage space. I know I keep saying that, but yet again, here's another example of it. So you've got your water closet back here in case you need one. So all in all, a pretty amazing property. Um, we haven't even seen the pond yet, but lots of room for a family, lots of room for stuff. If you have a boat, if you have a trailer, uh, if you have an RV, it might even fit in here, depending on the size. These are tall doors. I can find out exactly how tall they are, how high they are, if you'd like me to. Give you my contact information at the end of the video. Uh, depending on where you're watching this, it's probably also on the screen. Now, this pond is fed by an artesian well. The uh, owners are out of town right now, so the well has not been on because it does have to be manually turned on and off. So the water is a bit low, but you can still see that it's quite sizable. Uh, it could be stocked with fish if you wanted to do something like that. In fact, you can see in the center of the screen that white pipe is where the water uh, comes out. But all in all, an amazing property, uh, quite an opportunity for somebody. Uh, this is at 5205 Sand Lake Road in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, it is a five bedroom, three full bath home. The living square footage in the house is just under 4,000 square feet. So that's over 4,000, I'm sorry, just under 4,000 square feet under air. And then under roof, 
including the garage, uh, the outdoor porch, the front porch. You have over 5,000 square feet. And then if you add the garage we were just in, that's another 2,000-ish. You have about 7,000 square feet on an acre and a half with a pond and a pool. Pretty amazing. Uh, if you have any questions about the property, my name is Andy Barclay, and my wife and I are both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. We're also broker associates. I can be reached at 321-514-9862. Uh, you can call me, you can text me, you can email me from our website, which is www.brevardhomesandcondos.com. Uh, we're happy to answer questions. If you'd like more information, we can help you with this house or any other house in Brevard County. And I thank you for watching.